welcome back to another video. In this video I hope to explain how my son and I communicate on the trails. It's no secret and it's not new tech but I had some questions about it so I thought I'd share how we do it. So we've been using a cheap hand-me-down comms set from eBay um, to help get us started. Straight away my son Cal said it made his riding experience a lot more enjoyable. He's just starting his riding journey so it's pretty important that he feels comfortable on the bike and having a voice guide him um, through what he thinks are tricky little obstacles just helps reassure him that he can do it. It's also a really handy teaching tool. Um, I set up little challenges, just basic stuff and I'm able to give him instant feedback, remind him, praise him and another bonus is the safety aspect of it all. So if I'm ahead and he's had a little stack, he can let me know straight away or I can let him know of obstacles to look out for before they sneak up on him. So these eBay comms, they worked great for Cal. He could hear me, no worries, but he did say he could, he could hear my exhaust a little bit. Um, but I had trouble hearing him once we were moving because of my exhaust. Otherwise, no issues at all. So that these were easy to pair, good coverage, you know, I'd duck off over 100 metres ahead through the bush and he could hear me no worries at all. I ordered some new comms because I wanted to hear Cal better and I assumed I couldn't hear him because of these cheap eBay speakers. So I got these Cardo Pack Talk Bold Duo Packs. Hell expensive, top of the line. Excited as when they arrived. Um, we set them up, charged them, tried pairing them. Oh, not as easy for us as I think they're supposed to be. Um, took a while, ended up doing it through the phone. Wanted to learn the Bluetooth way first before looking into the DMC option. Anyhow, we got them going as you can see here. Alright, so we finally got connection. Had Only no took idea. about half an hour or so. <laughs> it, wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't straightforward, I'll say that. I can't remember how we did it to be honest. But at least we um did do it and that, that's over with now. Do a little bunny hop. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So we got ready to go for a ride and we had to use the phone to connect them on the trails again. I need to do a lot more research on these ones. We're riding along and the same sound issue is happening. I can't hear Cal with my bike running. It really does stick to your tires. I can't hear you mate. Well, turns out <laughs> I had the speakers in the wrong spot. Oh, silly me. So the cheap eBay ones probably would work fine if I had set them up correctly. Once I put these in the right spot on the side of the trail, I had to turn them down because the cow was too loud. <laughs> Talk now, man. Oh my God. That is so much louder. I, I didn't have them where my ears are. Holy dooly, you're loud. The range on these new ones at the moment is, is pretty poor compared to the eBay ones. Um, I was getting really sketchy static, like 40 metres apart, which it just didn't happen with, these, with the eBay ones. So I eventually pulled over and we clicked up the antennas, which seemed to help, but still only for sm fairly small distances. The antennas are also a bit of a worry while they're up because we are combating the trees, which we do encounter, as you can see in this trip. Oh God, I'm all caught up. I'm gonna have to lift that over. Oh. Just be careful of the helmet, mate. You got all the GoPros and the new comms kit on it. So I'm really hoping we can overcome the coverage concern because these are supposed to be awesome comms and I'm sure I will learn how to use them more effectively. I do like how I can just hook up another set of speakers, either some generic ones or proper JBL ones, and use them in the road helmet as well, as I've got that extra bracket and the mic. They're fairly popular comms, so if I do a group ride, there's a good chance of connecting to other people in the group. They connect easy to the phone, through an app, so I'm sure things like Google Maps, getting phone calls, etc., are gonna be really useful as well. But for what Cal and I have been doing, these eBay, these eBay ones, or equivalent ones that are on there now, these are pretty old I guess, um, probably would have been fine 
had I just put them exactly where the ear were. So in a motocross helmet, there's no, there's no cut out for speakers. And I just put them where I thought my ears would have been. Uh, felt fine, um, but I never actually <laughs> properly checked. <laughs>
and then what that's it and then mate cross cross over here and follow that line just cross over to there not all the way along oh, see yep. yeah yeah and turn there yep and follow that bank along i've got to be careful of that stick hanging out sort of at your head height Sketchy, sketchy. <laughs> there was no real reason except the one to kick starting challenge. little river it'll be all right just don't go flying into it just keep going on slow and keep going but don't no need to put your feet down just it'll be fine yeah that's it yeah nice mate oh it was a bit deeper than i thought i reckon there's a few four-wheel drives that come through eh? yeah Looking good mate, elbows are up, nice, feet are on the pegs, you little ripper. I went through a spider web and I think there's a spider on my helmet. I'll just stop there and I can check if you want but I reckon you'll be right. Actually it's huge, I'm just joking. <laughs> Going through it. I'll go through it to make sure. Uh, you lead the way, soldier. I'd go straight down the middle where the cars go, man. Yeah, well done, cow. Just wait till I've got there to help you a bit, mate. I'm not through yet. Holy dooly. Yeah, you're going well, man. Yep. Beautiful, cow. You did, did a lot easier than I did it, mate. Well done. Yeah, nice work, mate. To mush. Oh, my bike's just going to fall over. Alright. We'll just leave that up against there. Hopefully she don't fall. Just have a quick look. It's certainly a bit more torn up than it used... We're used to. It's not deep out there. That little lid there might be a bit tricky. Is that like in the middle there? I think you'll be fine, eh? Because you're on a, such a nice light bike. Through there, you'll be right. Oh no, no, don't come yet. I haven't done the whole track yet. There's like a little creek through here. Yeah. It's a, there's a big hole there. Hmm. Good news is, if we get through, it's not so bad. That's it, now we can hear it roar. You put the kickstand in, 
What gear do you think? First. Okay. Just, just puttying through, mate. It's slippery. Oh, I missed that. And then probably let me get up ahead. Keep coming. And now you can probably start to turn this way a bit, just know it's slippery. I'd, I'd, I'd be sort of going into the into that little rut now. Not too fast, not too slow. Okay, just nice and cruisy. Keep it steady, keep it steady, keep it steady. Don't stop, don't stop. And just keep following that all the way out. Ah, oh, well done man, you're through. Sign of relief for you. Oh, yeah. There he is. Yeah. Wow. So you can have fun now, Cal. That was pretty much all the hard stuff done. <laughs> Oi. Boom. Mate, you look pretty keen on something. Yeah. How'd you go with your challenge? I'm um, pretty good. I reckon when I stacked it, like when I stacked it from that stick, um, you were able to pull it up and I get, got the kickstand and, you know, spun it around. And got it going? Yep, got it going through the big, really muddy stuff. And did you want to just, did, were you like, oh, I wish I could just use the electric start here? Or did I you did. just go, no, I can do this? Yeah, I don't like yeah. Shas, what do you think's in the esky? My Easter treats. <laughs> so it's your own treat. Wait, what's yours? I packed one for you. Oh, I thought it was Lauren's. No, that was. <laughs> no, I packed one for you. Oh, well, I, didn't, I didn't beat the challenge, mate. I didn't use a kickstart at all. What do you got? Oh, Kit Kat. Kit Kat. You little ripper. And it's your own, though. Yeah, it's mine. <laughs> so, so if you didn't do the challenge, I would have got your Kit Kat. No. Yeah, I would have. Well, no. If you'd bailed out, I would have got that. But good work is. I did. I yeah. didn't bail and I got it. You got it. Hey, what do I get? I'm sure I packed something for me just in case I survived. Oh, here we go. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> it's a muffin. <laughs> you little ripper. So Kit Kat for you, muffin for me. Happy days. Yep. Cheers, boy. Boom. <laughs> I know we're back. <laughs> yep. Our bikes are pretty. Um, bikes are pretty dirty, mate. Real dirty, yeah. And so we got a bit of cleaning ahead of us here. Yep. Thanks for coming for the ride. If you want to catch the next one, hit the subscribe and enjoy our next little adventure. Leave a like as well. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Bikes are after us. So we got a dude coming in turn and give them the wash. Oh, boy. Was it worth it? Yeah, <laughs> definitely.